Have you noticed what's happening here? I just changed the brush size three different times, but the line's the exact same size. I'm going to show you a trick. You can lock in the exact size of your brush so that no matter what you do over here, the size of the brush never changes. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you're a tattooer like me and you want to use the exact same line every time for every stencil, then maybe you'd want to make a custom variation of your favorite liner brush. So let me show you how to do it. Here I have a brush that I made myself called Perfect Liner. You can use any brush that you like, even the stock brushes that come with Procreate. All you want to do is pick your brush that you like to line with the most and swipe and hit duplicate. Now you see Perfect Liner 1 appears right above my old brush. So I'll tap that brush and the settings open up. Navigate to where it says about this brush. And then you can change the name. For now, I'll go with Perfect Liner Large. Like that. Hit done. Now go to properties. Here it says brush behavior. These sliders represent the maximum and the minimum size that your brush can be when you use the slider that you normally use to change brush size. So what I will do is make both of these the exact same number. You can choose anything for now. You can go back and adjust it later. Right now it's set to 11%. So I'll hit done and then try out the brush. Now you'll notice that no matter what I do on the brush size slider, the brush stays exactly the same size. Great, right? All right, so now what? I think we'll make a few more sizes that we can access later when we're doing our drawings. So swipe again, duplicate, change the name. I'll call this one Perfect Liner Medium. Done. Properties. Let's lower it down a little bit. Say we were at 11, so let's go to 7. And here's our medium line. Works pretty good. Let's try another one. Small. This time, let's take it down to 3%. And there you have it, an easy way to store the size of your brush permanently so you can access it later and make your life a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back with another Procreate workflow video soon. And as always, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next video.